What if building your dream app was as easy as typing an idea? Meet Lovable. Dev. Hey there, I'm David Basulto, an educator and content creator passionate about transforming how we learn and teach with AI tools. Welcome to my channel. My mission is simple but ambitious. I want to introduce 1 million educators and students to the power of AI tools like this one, helping you save time, spark creativity, and make learning more engaging. If that sounds like something you're excited about, Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss another video. Let's empower the future of education together. Before we jump into this tutorial, let me give you a quick overview of what makes lovable.dev so powerful and why you're going to love it. So what is lovable.dev? It's an AI powered platform designed to make creating apps and software incredibly easy. All you have to do is describe your idea in plain language and lovable.dev brings it to life as a fully functional app with no coding required. Here's some of the standout features. First, it uses a natural language interface. That means you can just tell it what you need and it handles all the heavy lifting for you. Second, it's perfect for rapid prototyping. You can turn your ideas into working prototypes in seconds, which is amazing for testing or improving your concept. Third, it's powered by advanced AI. So it manages both the front end and the back end, everything from designing the interface to setting up the database. And if you're a little hands-on like me, don't worry, you can still tweak and customize everything to your liking. Lastly, it makes deployment a breeze. Once your app is ready, you can just share it with the world at the click of a button. Now, who is this lovable.dev for? Well, it's pretty much for anyone, whether you're an educator creating teaching tools, a student building projects, a startup founder testing ideas, or even a developer looking to speed up your workflow, lovable.dev has you covered. In short, it's a game changer for anyone who wants to create apps without the complexity of traditional development. And today, I'm going to show you how to use it. So let's dive in and see lovable.dev in action. All right, here we go. So this is the website, lovable.dev. You don't want to screw up with the name because the name lovable can probably take you to a bunch of websites that you don't want to go to. So make sure you put .dev. So once we're here, it's a very simple website. It looks beautiful here. Um, inside here, it says turn your app into ideas in seconds. I'm going to get into that in a second. They give you some prompts here to test out if you want. Here's my projects. I'll show you some of them. Great video here that you can watch and kind of gives you some excitement about using this app. And it goes into some other stuff here that you can talk to 20 times faster than coding. I mean, and you own the code. That's a big thing right here. Another thing I should talk about is that it is free. Here's some of the other apps that have been made already. A crypto uh, currency trading dashboard. Uh, a website to remove a background. I mean, it's really impressive what it can do. Some great testimonials here and then FAQ is right here. And that brings us to pricing. So how much does it cost to use? Well, it's free to start out. You can make public projects. Um, so anyone can go and try it out and you can have a number, a limited number of AI credits. So I'm going to show you, um, try and look for how many it is. I don't really know how many you get free but I've been playing with it for a while. You, the credits that they give you are for changes that you make into your prompts. So if you say, I want to make a, a game about um, Dungeons and Dragons, and then you say, you know what? I want to change it to a World War II game. So that's a change. So that's a credit. Um, that's what I'm gathering from all this. Uh, now, if you want to step up and become a starter plan, it's $20 a month, which is so dirt cheap for what this does. I mean, you're basically replacing... Uh, a whole coding team and a development team for an application or a website. So $20 a month, you go beyond the daily limit, so you get more credits. And then you get unlimited private projects. So right now, my projects that I'm making as the free plan, which I'm 99.99999% sure I'm going to sign into the starter plan because I'm already loving what I'm making I'm, and the ideas are just spinning around. I want them to be private so that I can eventually develop them and then push them out onto the web. You can remove the button, of course, um, and then it goes up from there with more credits, etc. And I don't know what VIP events are for the 200 a month, but that sounds kind of cool. Maybe I'll get to that one day. 
But the fact I've had for years ideas of creating apps where people can do different things. And I've, I just never knew where to start. I definitely do not know how to code with the exception of some minor HTML. So this thing was kind of like blew my mind when I dove into it and started checking it out. So let's go back to the top here. So I am in, I click here and go to my profile for a second. This will bring me into my profile here. This is my information. And um, I started making a couple of fun things. So I made this game called High School Adventure Quest where people go through high school and do fun stuff. And then I just started to do this one yesterday. I don't know, I was inspired by this, but I said, create a text-based game. So let, let's go back for one second. So this was my prompt. I said, create a text-based RPG game because I'm old and I loved old school text-based games. Um, I remember playing them on my first Macintosh. About the Civil War in the United States in 2025, players must survive a journey to get to Canada or Mexico. Each character has a knife and health points. So I'm a big gamer and I just love games. So once I type that in, and you, the way you type it in is you go back to here, and this is where you're typing your information here, what you want it to say. So I added the prompt and then all of a sudden it starts saying, okay, this is what we want to do. And then, oh, we're going to do games like the Oregon Trail, but modern survival elements. So it's already drawing ideas from the web that correspond with what I really am looking for. So Oregon Trail, absolutely survival game, amazing. And then features for version one, creator starting health points at hundred hit points, inventory, and then they can find items, text-based navigation, simple combat system etc visual style all of that is stuff that's in here so i can go to the bottom here where it says request a change and type in there you know what i want him to have um uh just a club instead of a knife or whatever i can do all kinds of fun stuff i can change the visual style etc and then it coded the whole thing so it goes in there and it did all this coding and i for one have no idea what 99 percent of this stuff is in there so I was, I would be lost right there, but it did it all for me. And then I can click exit right here to go back. And then it says, I created this game. If there's knowledge or context instructions you want to include in every edit of this project, see it below. And then I can do all kinds of stuff, have uh, integration documents. I can connect to a database. So you can join a, a place called Superbase, which is a database thing. It's very inexpensive. So they can have a database to continuously make things happen. I can hit publish on the top right corner to share it with people. And then you can also put it on your own personal. If you have the paid plans, you can turn this into a, a website or an app that you can then put up wherever you want. So this is really simple. If I go in here now and it says they called it escape route 2025 distance to Canada, a thousand kilometers. I can also, you know, change this to miles. I can do anything I want. So now it's telling me your home. Civil unrest has erupted into full-scale conflict. You must change, go where to flee. I'm not actually going to go to Canada because it's very cold up there. I'm not into the cold weather being from California. But I'm going to head towards Mexico, especially since I'm uh, of Hispanic background and I like Mexican food. So we're going to click that once. You decide to go down to Mexico. Okay, that's my journey log. Streets are eerily quiet. I hear distant gunfire. What am I going to do? I'm going to sneak through the backyards. Military checkpoint blocks the road. I'm gonna wait till nightfall. I find an abandoned house that looks safe to rest in. Search for supplies. You can see the border, heavy security. Try to blend in with the refugees. I made it across, I'm safe, so there you go. That's it, I made it to Mexico, I'm free now. And I made it to the border. So up here it's saying distance to Canada, zero kilometers. So that needs to be fixed, that's a little bug. My health went down to 90. I have an inventory of a knife, a map, and a med kit. So now I can say, okay, okay, once I'm in, I can write down below as a change. Once I'm in Mexico, I need to make it to the coast and start a life there or whatever. I could just keep going and let my imaginations just go crazy. So like I said, once I'm done here, I can go up here and hit publish and we're good to go. So in my, in my advanced media classes, I have my kids do a YouTube channel. So I want to create an app that will track their YouTube channel statistics. So let's see what it creates. As you can see right away, it's starting to code everything. It's telling me every step of the way what's happening. It's starting to make the database. It's making subscriber charts. It's making everything for me with things that I have no idea how to do. So this is amazing. 
You can see it's cranking out the app and now it's gonna show me a preview of it. It says I created a beautiful dashboard to track the statistics. So here it is. So here we can put in the person's YouTube channel, total subscribers, etc. add the channel. So I can start putting those all in there, all my students' stuff that I have in a spreadsheet actually right now. It's in a Google spreadsheet, all their channels, and then they have to manually do that every day. But now it's gonna find those channels and just start giving me the information from each one. And this is gonna be great. So you can do all kinds of amazing things with lovable.dev and I love it. I'm gonna to subscribe to it personally. What can you create in your classroom or for your personal self and possibly even make money from this? I mean, you can create an app that can make a lot of money. So this thing is game changing. I love it. Check it out, lovable.dev. I'm David Basulto. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. Helps the algorithm. Give us a like and leave a comment and let's see what you have to say. All right, I'll see you soon.